Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so to to start the service this morning. Oh, just put a smile on your face. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, tell someone good morning. Welcome to church. Good morning, welcome. Good morning, welcome to church. Good morning, welcome to church. Hallelujah. Soft 
voice just sing hallelujah say
worship you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We extol you. We exalt your holy name. We honor you, Jesus, as we praise you today. In Jesus' name. Move your body from side to side. Hallelujah. you Jesus oh, we worship we worship you so Lord you are good What are you turning to I Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you No one like you Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you There's nobody like a God of glory
upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and the come on say his favor be upon you and a thousand and your family and your children and their children may his presence go before you go behind you and beside you all around you he is with you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your singing that song many of us we are not paying attention to the lyrics of the song this morning it's all about prayer and when the when the song the lyrics of the song is all about prayers may the favor of the Lord be upon you not only over you your children and their children. Yeah. That is the favor of the Lord over you and generation, generation after generation. Yeah. So I want us to take that song like someone who really understands the lyrics of that song. You, you, are, you are, as you are singing that song, you are making proclamation upon yourself. You are prophesying upon your life. Upon your family, upon your generation, upon the generation after your generation. 
This is an intentional worship. And that is why I want you to give yourself to this worship. Because there is nothing else we'll be doing than this money. Just surrender yourself to, to the to the to the press to the power of God. To the move of God. And you as you are singing that song, the song will begin to manifest in your life. And your children over your life, children, over your children, the presence of the Lord will be with you. His presence hey. you and behind you and beside you. Save his faith, may his be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children and your children. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you. Say all around. Receive it. So shall it be. His favor we go before you. Amen. As we read Joshua chapter 6, Joshua chapter 6, we still, all we will be doing is just worshiping God this morning. But before we do that, I want us to do that with all seriousness. It's going to be intentional worship this morning. Joshua chapter 6. Let's see what happened in the book of Joshua chapter 6. Starting from verse 1. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. The reason why, I mean the land of Jericho. The reason why the people shut their door. Not because of anything than, 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 than because of the children of Israel. The fear of the children of Israel came upon them. That was the reason. No other reason. No other reason. They were afraid. And that is why I believe God that as you worship the name of the Lord this morning, the Lord will cause the enemy of your destiny to fear you. 
You may say, I, I don't have any enemy. I'm not talking about even woman being. I'm not talking about uh, witches and wizards. The devil is seeking for who to destroy. So for the fact that you are enjoying your life, it's not, it's not the, 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 the fact, it's not the truth that the enemy is not seeking after you. It's just waiting for the time he's going to strike. And that is why I am praying this morning that by the reason of your worship this morning, the Lord will cause your enemy to fear you. Say, they shut the door because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Verse 2. And the Lord said unto Joshua, the Lord will speak unto you this morning. See, I have given into thy hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty man of valor. The Lord began to victory this morning. Ah, that amen so the children. The Lord began to your victory this morning in the name of Jesus. Verse 3. There now is the instruction. Remember, the gate has been shut. And God has promised the Israelites that I have given you the land. How are they going to enter? How are they going to take over the land? When the door, the entrance has been shut, the Bible says nobody could go in, nobody could come out. So there is, so there is no way if you study your scripture, if you study your Bible, you discover that the first time that the Israelites sent some spies to go and spy the land, they by mistake entered that land. But now, the people of Jericho, they were already they were prepared, they were prepared for the coming of the Israelites. So they must have defended, they must have blocked every way they could enter. But the Lord is saying to you, no matter what the enemy may have, must, must have done or may have done, I will give you the land. Now, this was a instruction. I said, and you shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shall thou do six days. seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's arms and the seventh day ye shall, ye shall come past the city seven times that was on the seventh day listen god was not telling them that go and get arrows go and get bombs that will pull down the wall of jericho the Lord is saying to you today, I will by myself pull down that wall for you to claim the land. Now, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn and, ye, and when ye shall hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. That will be your, your, your portion this morning. That shout will not be a shout of sorrow. And you shall make a great shout. And the wall of the city shall do what? Shall fall. God was not asking them. Yes, he has promised that many a times we make this mistake. God has said, I will give you this promotion. But because God has said, I will give you the promotion, the next thing you are, you now want to work at that promotion by yourself. Only for you to go and put yourself into another problem. God has said to you, I will give you this land. But already because the word has come, that you now begin to walk around how you are going to claim it. Why don't you wait on God and let God give you the instruction? I want to believe Joshua will have been wondering how am I going to pull down this wall? It was a giant wall. It was a like my brother, we always use the word mega. It was a mega wall. 
But look at what God did. God by himself. Not, he did not involve the Israelites. He only asked them to shout. How can a shout to pull down the wall? Amen. If I ask us to shout now. It will only penetrate through, through this wall. It will not pull down this wall. And I don't think the thickness of the wall of Jericho. Has, I mean the thickness will be more than this. Because if the Lord decides to fight for you, no matter the obstacle, he will pull you down. If the Lord decides to set you free, no matter the... Look at, the, look at Peter. Peter was in the prison. Why people, the children of God were praying for him. Peter was there. But when God will deliver Peter, the angel went into where Peter was locked up and woke up Peter. Peter, rise. And suddenly, as Peter was walking to the main gate, the doors that were shut started opening. They started opening by no effort of Peter. The Lord will begin to open doors for you. That's why just want you to just worship him and surrender yourself to him don't worry about the battle don't worry about the challenges don't worry about the time ah in the next two days my visa will be will be expiring oh if i don't achieve this in the night by this so so time I, I will be written off if i don't do this but all you need to do is focus on the maker of heaven and the earth a strong because he's mighty to save makes me say he's mighty to save he's mighty to save he's mighty to save he's mighty to save he is mighty to save forever. Amen. If you have, if you believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm not here by myself. I'm not here by myself. Pick up if you have a daughter with you. Pick up your daughter. Pick up your pen. And in the next few minutes, I just want you to begin to list those things. And give it time. Specify the time you want God to do it. Just pick up your pen. Pick up your paper. While the instrumentalist can continue to play, you can also go and pick up your pen. Go and pick up your paper if you want to. This miracle must not pass me by. I know the, the instrumentalists are under grace. Just write it to the mind, your mind. I am believing God that by the due date you are putting into that thing, your miracle will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Because as you worship the name of the Lord, you are saying, Lord, arise on my behalf and settle my case. I want us to do that as soon as possible. I don't want us to waste time much. Miracle walker, mighty healer. Miracle walker, mighty healer. Miracle walker, mighty healer. Miracle worker. He's the one who can walk out that miracle. He's the one who can grant you comfort. He's the one who can answer your request. I'm just ordinary a man. Just a witness of God's glory. Just a witness of God's light. Just a witness of God's power. work out for you in his power
promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, God is who you are. Even when I don't see it, you work Even when I don't feel it, you work You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't feel it, you work Even when I don't see it, you work You never stop, you never stop You never stop working you never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop. Joshua chapter five. Joshua chapter five. And we just read verse thirteen to fifteen, so that you can understand the power behind the move of God. Jericho was not just ordinarily destroyed. The wall did not just fall. Something happened before that time. And that is why I am believing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every name must bow. Joshua chapter 5 from verse 13. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand and Joshua went unto him and said unto him a door for us or for our adversaries verse 14 and he said nay but as captain of the host of the Lord, am I, yeah, am, am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, Was yet my Lord unto this servant? This man understood the move of God. All he did was just submitted himself straight away. It is not about him. Though God has given him the promise. But all he did was to submit himself. The Bible says he fell down and he worshipped. Are you ready to worship the name of the Lord? Don't worry about the battle. Don't worry about the challenges. Just focus on the move on the power of God and I just want you to pick up your just your own worship song and begin to worship him not because not because you want to bribe him but because he's just God nobody like you Lord Oh, 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 o
matter situation. Worship him. No matter the situation, just worship him. We are not here to give. So many. There are so many. They are not limited to the, the, to the attack by witch, witches and witchcraft. There are so many that I mean, you may say it is just all I just need to do is just to do this, do this, and it will work out. Listen, except the Lord grant you breakthrough. The Bible says, "By strength shall no man prevail." You can put in your strength, but if the Lord refuse to bless. If the Lord refuses to step into your into your into your boat, if the Lord refuses to build with you, you can only labor, and your labor will be in vain. The most powerful, I use the word most powerful. The most mightiest. Mark that word the most is Christ no wonder he says if Christ be for me who can be against me that is nothing nobody that is to show that if I have Christ in me I have everything and the Bible says there is no other name given to us by which we can be saved than the name of Jesus If you are listening to me this morning, you have not given your life to Christ. Either in this auditorium or online, there is only way, the only way out is you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. That is the only mighty one who went into the ground and came out, took the power of death and showed it and said, I have defeated the 
power, the debt. I've never seen any powerful, most powerful man on this earth that has defeated debt. No wonder the Bible says the author and the finisher of our faith. He has completed the job and he said it is finished. So if you have not accepted him as your Lord, as your Savior, this is an opportunity to say, Lord, I accept you, Lord. This is the time to surrender yourself to him. So if you are making that decision right now, anywhere you are, it is not for me, it is just for you. Just say along with me, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come and be my master. Come and be my Lord. Take over my life and rule in my life. So shall it be. Thank God. I just want to appreciate God for your life. If you have taken that decision, you can all kindly visit any Bible believing church or you can add, can, can, you can, you can make contact with us you can visit our website to you find our details now i want us are you ready to cry unto the lord i know my time is right gone but we are just going to pray just one prayer and that prayer is also in the same book we have read in the same book of joshua and we read verse 5 and joshua chapter 5 and we read verse 6 joshua chapter 5 Oh, let's say read verse 9. Joshua chapter 5 verse 9. Joshua chapter 5 verse 9. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I wrote away the approach and the reproach of Egypt from off you. We have for the name of the law of the place is called Gilga unto this day. Now the prayer I want you to preach this morning. You will say, Father, are we listening? You will say, Father, Father every, reproach every reproach of Egypt in my life, roll them away. In the name of Jesus, every reproach. What that means, every reproach that is turning me into a slave in the land of my enemy. Anything called reproach taking away the praises of the Lord in my mouth. Any reproach that is making me, instead of lifting my head up, is making me to, to bow and to hide my face. Father, oh damn it, where shall we pray in the name of Jesus? amen the way we are praying we are not praying as if someone i think we need encouragement i want you to get a neighbor get a neighbor and you are going to pray for that neighbor and say in the name of jesus unless you don't believe in that name jesus i'm not saying you should say in the name of the jack in the name of jesus I decree into your life every reproach be rolled away in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus, every reproach in your life be rolled away. 